Perhaps someone said they loved you and even made you feel like they really did love you, but then somehow the relationship still ended. Or perhaps you felt like you loved someone, but there was also a pull in you to leave this person that you don't fully understand. So why do people leave someone they love? Here are six reasons to consider. And if you've been enjoying my relationship content for a while, but you feel like you're ready to go even deeper into God's word about relationships, I wanted to let you know that enrollment for AGW University will be open until Sunday, May 29th at 11.59 p.m. And if you enroll before this deadline, you're going to get the biggest scholarship I've ever offered before. Feel free to click the link in the description of this video to learn more. Number one, their romantic love was not complemented by other types of love. When you read Song of Solomon, which is about romantic love, that is clearly a different type of love than was between David and Jonathan, which was a friendship love. It's important to realize there are different types of love because sometimes someone only has one type for someone else. When the type of love is romantic love, it's easy for it to go away one day. Romance is too hot a flame to burn all the time, but love that is rooted in friendship, affection, and commitment can last a lifetime. Number two, there are levels to love. There's only so much energy, time, and commitment one person can offer, and thus it is right to not try to offer the same type of love to all people. For example, as parents, it's not wrong to love your children more than you love other people. As a family member, you have a greater obligation to help support your family than a stranger. A spouse is called to care for their wife or husband more than others. All that to say, some people do have love for someone, but that love did not reach the level that was needed to commit their whole life to that person. Number three, feeling unloved in return. Notice the mutual emphasis on self-sacrificing love expressed in Philippians 2, 3 through 4. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. If this passage was stated in the singular, it would be a recipe for abuse, but it's not singular. It's plural, meaning we are told to treat each other this way. It's not meant to be one-sided. Sometimes a person tries to love someone, but they don't feel loved in return. And so they move on because we all need to be loved by the person we love in a relationship. Number four, they fell in love and never chose to love. If you fall in love, you can fall out of love. Eventually, it's important to really choose to love someone rather than remaining in this falling into love mentality. The deepest form of love, agape love, is always a choice. This is why a married couple goes through a ceremony and says vows in front of other people. To really love someone, you have to choose to love them in a committed way. Number five, unsolvable issues. A wise season of dating or courting is so important because a couple needs to figure out what issues they have. And notice I didn't say they need to figure out if they have issues. Every couple will have issues. Some issues are something the couple can work through together, while other issues are true deal breakers that cause an end in the relationship. For example, perhaps two people really love each other, but one person loves Jesus and the other person doesn't love Jesus. Your love for Jesus must outweigh your love for a person and thus a split must occur so a worldly person does not pull you away from God. And number six, they leave because it's the most loving thing to do. There are situations that occur where the most loving thing to do is to leave that person. For example, if someone is being abusive towards you, it's unloving to stay with that person because Leaving them is the discipline they need so they will change. If you are stuck in an addictive sin, it's unloving to stay in a relationship and hurt someone over and over again. If you aren't ready to love someone in a mature way, it can be loving to let them go so they can find someone who is ready to love them. If you both are holding each other back from fulfilling your God-given callings, then it is loving to let each other go. As you can see, 
relationships can be really complicated. So if you're a Christian single person who wants to gain a greater biblical clarity about your own relationship past and how you can proceed forward on the path God wants for you, you may be interested in AGW University. These relationship courses will help you apply biblical principles so you can heal, grow, and thrive as you walk into God's plan for your relationship future. For more information, click the link in the description of this video.